Hello and welcome, my name is Epuds, and today we're going to be talking about bounties, lost sectors, and some of the best locations in Destiny 2 for farming kills and completing exotic catalysts. If you're new to the game, I'll put a list of all the vendors in the game who offer bounties in the description below. My general rule of thumb when it comes to bounties is make sure you're stacking them correctly and find a location where you can complete as many of the bounties as possible without having to travel too much. Here's an example. Today I picked up 10 bounties. Two were crucible bounties, four were seasonal bounties, and four were gunsmith bounties. I can rule out the PvP bounties from stacking because those can only be done in the crucible. Now, when I look at my seasonal bounties, three of them relate to defeating Cabal, one of which has to be a Cabal champion. So straight away I know I want to go to a location that has Cabal and a champion. The sundial activity on Mercury would be the best place for that. My remaining bounties require me to get specific weapon kills, so those can be done just about anywhere. After one run of the sundial, I've completed a couple of bounties and made progress towards the others. But I don't want to continue competing with other players for kills, so now I want to find a place where I can finish these remaining bounties in peace. And this brings us to Lost Sectors. Now, I think some Lost Sectors are objectively better than others, but for the most part, Lost Sectors are still generally your best bet when it comes to finding large groups of specific enemies that you can farm with frequency. For Cabal and Hive, head to Mars. Hive can be found in the Core Terminus Lost Sector, located on the far left of the Braytech Futurescape. It's pretty densely populated and has a few really good choke points if you're trying to get Hive precision kills. I also use this Lost Sector if I'm farming weapon bounties from A to 1. For the Cabal, you're going to find them in the Medim Subterrain Lost Sector. That's on the far right side of the Glacial Drift. Now, this probably isn't the best place for Cabal, but it's one of the quicker Lost Sectors to get to, and it's the one that I use the most. For Vex, it's really simple. You want to head to Mercury and go to Pariah's Refuge, and it's located at the bottom right of the map. To find Fallen, you're going to want to head to the moon. There are two really good lost sectors here for Fallen. K1 Logistics, which is found near the top of Archer's Line. And K1 Communion, near the top right corner of Anchor of Light. Logistics is good if you're looking specifically for Fallen Captains, but Communion has more Fallen in general, and it's easier to traverse. Just as a side note, if you're specifically looking to kill Captains for bounties, you can also go to the Trostland in the EDZ on Earth. If you travel to Mavic Square on the right side of the map, there is a Fallen Captain there who can be one-shot if you have an ARC sniper rifle. Run back toward the Trostland, then when you hit the load screen, turn around and head back to Mavic Square. The captain will respawn and you can kill him as many times as you need. Scorn have two good locations. The first one is the Kingship Dock Lost Sector, which is located in the center of Thieves Landing in the Tangled Shore. This one is probably my favorite Lost Sector and is also great for rocket launcher kills, specifically because enemies spawn in groups together in this Lost Sector. The other Lost Sector is the Bay of Drowned Wishes in the Dreaming City. The entrance is right behind you when you spawn in. Now, the Taken have a few different spots. The one I usually go to is the Sanctum of Bones in the Rupture on Io. It's the Lost Sector near where you spawn in, opposite to where Asher is. The other place is going to be Aphelon's Rest and Chamber of Starlight in the Dreaming City. The issue with them is you have to travel by Sparrow for a bit to get to them. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about today were the locations I used to farm kills when working on exotic catalysts. There are a few different kinds of catalysts, but most just require you to get kills. For catalysts that require crucible kills, I tend to use the momentum control rotating playlist because weapon damage is drastically increased. However, it's not always around, so keep your ears and eyes open for when it is on. 
For catalysts that just require regular kills, there are two locations I usually use. The first location is actually the first encounter of the Leviathan Raid, and the second is the Whisper of the Worm exotic mission. The first encounter of Leviathan is called the Castellum and is an open area that leads to different encounters of the raid. It requires you to gather banners from around the map and return them to one spot that is constantly under attack from Cabal. They will continue to spawn until the encounter is complete. It's for this reason that it's a great area for farming kills. You can load in solo and farm the Cabal until you get bored or finish your catalyst. If you're working on special or heavy exotic catalysts, I'd recommend putting on scavenger and ammo finding perks on your armor. Alternatively, you can load into the beginning of the raid and you'll spawn with ammo for all your guns. Then just kill the orange buyer enemies at the beginning and reload the raid, but that can be a lot more time consuming. Now for the second location. To access the Whisper of the Worm exotic mission, you're going to want to head to Io. If you've already completed it before, you can access the heroic version at any time just from the IO map director. But if you've never done the mission before, what you're going to want to do is travel to the Lost Oasis and wait for a public event to start. A special taken enemy will show up. He can be found in a few different places, but usually roams around in the caves near the top of the Lost Oasis. Once you kill him, a portal will appear on a hill near the grove of Ulantan Lost Sector. Activate the portal and you're in. Once you've started the mission, just follow the path I take and you'll come to a room where you'll find Taken Thrall constantly spawning. I use this spot to specifically complete my Sunshot and Risk Runner Catalyst because it's an easy way to chain lots of kills together really quickly. The only thing to keep in mind is that there is a time limit for this mission, so you will get booted after about 15 minutes or so. And that's it! I hope you found this helpful and informative. Maybe you have a few spots you like using that I didn't mention. Let me know in the comments below and I'll check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.